So if you are just tuning in, my name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. It is a survival multiplayer server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends and I like to build stuff and we're going to be building today. We're going to be building this bridge right in front of me. This very plain, very functional thing that we laid in when we first came down this way. And uh, we are going to be turning this into something a lot nicer. And I have to lay out some blocks. We have to do a little bit of counting and figure out what's going on. But this is not going to be flat. I think we're going to put a nice little arc to it. It's not going to be steep. It's going to be slab arc. So similar to these stairs, how they go up one slab at a time, we're going to be doing something like this as we go across this bridge. I'm not sure exactly how or or where we're going to be putting those steps, but that's that's how we're going to we're, how we're going to roll with it. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is dump out a little bit of a work site, uh, get my ender chests and shulker boxes on the go, and then we're going to dive right in. And the first thing we're going to do is find the middle of it and then figure out where we're going to put the supports and the pillars and things and how big they're going to be. So I'd say this area right here looks like a decent spot to put, put stuff. Although, hmm, now that I think about it, I don't want to have to come up here all the time. Maybe we'll put it here. Maybe we'll just set up shop here. That seems like a better idea. I'm going to need not gravel, stone, stone bricks, probably some dirt and grass and stuff. And I guess we'll grab the wood box. I didn't bring my log box. I should have. Um, I think that's probably it. Plus a crafting bench. So we'll put this stuff down here. Uh, actually, you know what, let's move this just a little bit over and we'll do this, that, that, and that, and then we'll put the crafting bench and the ender chest over here. So ender chest and crafting bench. Cool. So I'm going to need some stone slabs or brick slabs, excuse me. I know we're going to need probably some andesite. We're going to need a lot of stone bricks, probably some stone brick stairs. I didn't, do I not have any smooth stone? Really? Wow. That's unfortunate. Do I have anything else in here? Maybe in the gravel box? Probably not. Nope. Well, we might end up going to go get some stuff later on anyway. I don't know any place else that would have smooth stone. Maybe the redstone box? Yes. Let's just do that. That gets us part of the way there. It's the problem of not having like a, a storage build down in this area is that we don't have, um, don't have a lot of access to stuff down here. So first things first, when I build a bridge, I generally try to find a spot where we can call it the middle. And I'm thinking probably the middle of the river might be a good place, or at least the middle of this span, like where we feel the bridge really starts to be, be something that's not touching the ground. So maybe something around here would be considered like the edge of the bridge. I'm sure I measured this out as an odd number when I first built it. Uh, and I also know because of the way that we did this approach that I feel like this edge is probably where I wanted to start it. But let's just look over here. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty steep. Oh yeah, so that's this is definitely, we're definitely calling this like block one of the bridge. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like a Sesame Street special. Two, three, fourteen. So let's not do that one. Let's do fifteen, maybe, or sixteen, seventeen. Let's see what that looks like with fifteen. So let's grab some bricks and we'll just put a fake pillar here. Just to kind of see what that looks like as far as distance whether it looks like it's far enough. That's not bad. 
I think I like the other distance better. I think I prefer the farther tower. So let's push that back until the edge is where we want it. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's try what, let's see what 21 looks like. Because that gives us then 10 on either side. Although we might want to mess with that too. I think I'm, I might rather have something like a 19. Really can't tell the difference between the two of those, can you? Well, that's fine. Uh, so if this is 21, then that would be 10 to the middle. And I would rather have something like 11 to the middle. So 11 and 11 is 22, and that means 23. And that means pushing it back to here. There's, this is a, a big pit underneath this, by the way. It's a great big hole down there. So let's remove that and see if going back another two blocks makes a difference. So whether that's good or bad. I guess the alternative is to do nine instead of 11, right? So we would do two sections of nine plus the middle block. So that's 18, 19. Where does 19 leave us? So 15... This is 23, so one, two, no, wait a minute, 23, 21, 22, 21, 20, 19, which is where it is now, I think. No, it's one closer. One closer. I am thinking about taking these up to three wide, at least. If not three wide with like a chamfered corner. Might be, might be cool. Mm, that's too short. Let's go with 23. 23, I think, is where we're going to hang our hat on this build, which is good. Master Ninjason has to go. Well, thanks for hanging out. Glad to see that you were here and uh, glad to see that you're enjoying the chat. Much appreciated. So let's just go ahead and... We'll make a mental note that there's there's something underneath this tower. We can maybe even use the tower as a way to get down there. That would be kind of cool as well. But this is going to be the edge. And I feel like we might want to push this back by one. And Actually, we'll put we'll put the other thing here. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to do something like this, and then something like this. So it's not going to be a circle. It's not going to be quite a square either, because I want this to be chunky. I, I want I've been wanting to do a very robust, chunky build for quite some time. So it'll look a little bit wider than three when you're coming at it from the other side of the bridge. But yeah, I feel like that looks pretty substantial. You know, if we had another one over here on this side mimicking the same thing. So we already know that this is the edge. So that would mean that we would get rid of this here. And this would be two, three. And then this would go three in the other direction. And we can, we can texturize these and, and make them look cool later. Right now, I just want to get the placement right. So that when we are walking across these different things, it has the right feel. Magpie Tear is here. Hello. You don't have to apologize for being late. You arrived precisely when you meant to. Yes, I think that's going to go very well with the gatehouse build. It's going to feel very, very substantial. Um, I'm thinking about even looking up another Lego build um, to kind of base this off of. So that's one, two, three. And this would be... Here, two, three, and then we're going to run out of stone bricks real fast. I'm going to have to go get some more. So coming in here, that is what that is going to look like. The problem that we might run into is that a large tower over here may end up being a little bit overwhelming for this side. 
So we could do one of two things. They could be asymmetrical. These towers don't have to be that big. They'd have to be centered. So it would have to be centered here, but maybe they don't have to be um, super large because this is going to cut in like this. So that is what that is going to look like. And I don't know if that's going to be something we like. Um, actually, you know, that's not too bad. It sort of has like a little, little offshoot. We, we could maybe do something there. I mean, we could always move the edge of the path too. We could cut into the sugar cane a little bit. That's not the end of the world, but I kind of like the idea of maybe pushing this, this path out to the side a little bit more and f like really making you feel like there's a, a right hand turn there. Should you decide to decide to do it? We could also put like another, uh, like another thing here to kind of indicate like a doorway. That could be kind of cool too. If it is meant to, to be a, a gatehouse, whoops, I broke the sugar cane. Uh, if it's meant to be a gatehouse, then we could also do that. Over here, there's going to be a path that I sort of laid in and it's going to, uh, it's going to lead into some sort of building. I don't know whether the entrance is going to be here or whether it's going to be here, but I kind of want to turn this chunk uh, into something that you can walk into. Um, I thought about putting the door here, but I kind of want to put like maybe a portcullis or something across this just to kind of see what it looks like. Well, let's just put, put the layout in briefly for this other tower so we know where that's going to go. And then we can lay out an arc of the bridge. Uh, and then I think I'm going to have to go and get more some more stone because I don't, I don't have anything at the inn. And I don't have anything in my shulker boxes. I, I think I can't remember what we're doing. I was doing some landscaping with Alistair and I think I removed all the stone uh, that I had in my inventory for that. So this is at, where do we go here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's seven wide. I do like that. And it starts right after that. So seven wide starts here. And then we just have to line this up. So not, not this one, but it goes here. Like that. And then just put three more here and I don't have three. Oh, I got a couple more. Now this is a happy accident, but I am thinking that maybe these towers, because this here, I kind of want to indicate that you can go right if you want to. I might want to put this tower being larger than this tower. So I kind of like this little angle here. Um, I don't know how tall these towers are going to be. I want to keep them fairly short. I don't necessarily want to block that tree. Uh, I mean, you're going to be able to see the tree as you get closer anyway. But I'm thinking max height would be kind of like maybe here ish yeah so that'll work now these are going to have to be lower because i don't want i don't want this here uh we're gonna have to lower lower this section as well because i want this to be completely flat uh, as it stands and i think the idea that i had on the other side was that there was a section of smooth stone between the towers indicating the end of the bridge that's an easy way to remember it so we'll take this out here and this is good because this will give us some stone brick back uh, so we don't have to go get more right away. I'm really happy to hear that being a part of both my community and the Spawn Chunks community, and I mean, let's face it, there's quite a bit of overlap there, um, has been inspiring. That is awesome to hear. Some people do some wicked cool stuff and, and share it in the Spawn Chunks Discord, I have to say. Very, very cool. So I feel like here we're going to put down some grass for now. This is all just temporary kind of thrown together. Get rid of this. And then this is all just straight up stone brick. I guess I could do slabs here to kind of save a little bit of time or a little bit of resources. I mean, we're not running low on anything. But uh, we'll do stone, solid stone bricks on the side there. And then we'll switch to uh, 
to slabs in the middle, I think. Oh, I hear a friend. It's Matcast. Hello. I need more. Oh, I got slabs. So we can always add different blocks that are full blocks here for texture, which is good. Uh, I think I do want to maybe remove these though. That's good there. And maybe push this back a little bit. And then add a little bit of dirt over here. Like that. Perfect. So the next phase is to figure out where we want the middle and how high we want it to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, I this is a lot longer than 23. This is not 23, this is something else entirely. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. So it's 31, not 21, not 23. That was miscalculated. Oh, it's because of the pillars. I mean, I'm off by a lot more than just two or three. That's what the difference is over here. Let's rethink this just briefly. And we can come up with a different, different number. I'm glad we noticed that before I got too carried away with stuff. So I'm gonna go with this as the edge of the deck of the bridge. So that means we've got to change this over here. This is all the stuff that you don't see <laughs> in, mo in most YouTube videos is, is uh, the back and forth and the counting and all this stuff. But I think some people might appreciate, you know, if I've got some people that are newer to building or wanting to do some, some stuff that are, that's out of their comfort zone, then you might have, um, you might be, I guess, inspired or at least pick up some, some tips here and there. I think the thing here is that we want to get rid of this. This is misleading. We want to have this be kind of like a, a cut edge to the, to the side of that. And then this is also in the wrong spot. So let's just put some blocks here every second block. So that, that, that. Oops. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 middle, right? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Grr. Grr. Uh, all right, that didn't work out at all. So that's 16. Which means that it's an even, even number, which is not good. That's not good at all. So well, uh, 13 has got two sixes and a one. I think we want 15. We want 15 on either side with one in the middle. So I said these dirt blocks were 16. So I want 15 middle. And then we want 15 from there, which is gonna move those considerably closer. Additionally, we could move this back. We could push that back one, which might be good for here. So we'll see what this looks like. I can't believe I messed that up. 13, 14, 15, which means that this would start here. Because we're going from the edge of the deck. So we'll count that again just to make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then center. Okay, so that's right. Which puts this back out here again. And I don't think I like that. I think I prefer, I think we might want to move, move these closer as opposed to pushing those up. We could move this ahead by one and move the other one ahead by one. 
and I think that might be the thing to do. And this is good because this will give us some more room on the side of the path here. Not by a lot, just an extra block, but I think it will make a big difference. It's just, just enough. Just enough. I'm happier with that, actually. Uh, so that means that this is now here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Last time. <laughs> I swear it's the last time. <laughs> it seems tedious, but you know, it would be better to get this right now than realize after building the bridge and working on an arc or something that it's in the wrong spot. Like, I, I would be not upset, but I, it would be one of those heavy sigh moments where you're like, all right, stream, we're doing this again. We're going to tear it all out and build it a second time, which I don't think anybody wants to see. Never do math live on stream. I don't know about math. I'm not even doing math. I'm not adding or subtracting. I'm just counting and failing at it <laughs> quite, uh, quite frequently, as a matter of fact. So we know that the cobble is the middle, so we can work with that. And for the arch, we're going to have to figure out how big we want the middle span to be. Because I think we're going to divide this by five, would be my guess. And so I'm thinking that the step up to the bridge is not going to happen here, but probably on the next, the next level. So we'll get out our slabs. So there's 15 between here and the middle, which means that there could be spans of seven, I think. And then we go up one. And then we go up another one. This may be too, too subtle. So this is only gonna be five, which I don't want. So I want this to be at least seven, so Let's get rid of this. The other reason that I think I want the middle to be on a solid, uh, not a 0.5, is because it makes it a lot easier to decorate and do stuff like this on the edges. Should we want something, we can also do things like this and have it not feel too overwhelming. Uh, or we could even just not have not have um, stairs we could just do just do slabs like that and then that way it looks pretty good although I feel like stairs are probably a little bit better but yeah one two three so we need another slab there and then one two three four five six seven one two three four five hmm that actually makes sense that's not too bad. It's a lower arc than I thought. How does that look from over here? Whew. That was a great throw. Hmm. That's really not much of an arc, is it? I was thinking more about getting it a little bit higher. I don't know if I want to go a whole block higher, though. Let's see. Can I make it back? Nope. <laughs> going in the going in the water here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's think about this. So what if we did just sections of five? Maybe, maybe we take this down a notch. So one, two, three, four, five. But that doesn't give us up very high, does it? So let's just go another. Let's try this side. Let's go another block higher. And we'll do one, two, three. Oh, I wish I could get rid of that. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's just going to be too steep. Ah, uh, that's not bad actually. It's not the end of the world. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do 
one, two, three, four, I guess. I don't like the, uh, the evens, but one, two, three. How does that feel? That's actually pretty good. Let's see what that looks like from over there. Let's see if I can do this again. Almost. Almost. Why am I caught in the block? Yeah. Yeah, if you can imagine this being another, you know, another five block or four blocks in that direction, three blocks in that direction. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like that's pretty good. They should get thinner as they get down closer to the to the tower. That makes sense. I'm not crazy about having four here, but it might not matter. Yeah, I'd still like this to be farther back. Maybe we're not going to be able to go up to an even block height. Maybe we're going to have to leave the middle as a 0.5. I also need to think about whether this is going to need a, a, a support in the middle or not. It might look substantial enough with the uh, with the fat towers on the edges, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. And then this would be three, I guess. Yeah, I think I like that better. I don't know. I'm at the point where I almost want to start to look up like real life bridges. And then this goes here. Like that. And then we'll just put this in temporarily to see what that looks like. Yeah. I think that might be better. Might prove to be challenging down the line uh, when we um, when we want to do some decorating on the top. But yeah, we could we could knock this back a little bit too. That that I think is just going to depend on on the decoration of the the top of it, which I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing at that point either. Up, up, up. And then down, down, down. Yep. I like the way that that feels. Oh, that's a bad throw. You know, that might actually be better. Let's plan it that way. Because I feel like it, it wants to look like it connects in here, but I don't want it to do that specifically. We might end up putting some sort of other support looking type thing here or connecting these somehow. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take a quick break and then we're going to come back. We need to go get some materials. I need to go gra gather some stone and some stone brick and stuff. Uh, but in order to do that, I think we have to head over to the inn. I guess I should have just flown from the top of the cliff there. Mm -hmm.